Hello guys, and now I'm here with my convention horror story. So, if you guys do not know, I was dressed as Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts. I'm sorry if my camera's like really slanted. Like, I don't know what's going on here. You're, it's like balancing on a hairspray can. Okay, okay. Very unprofessional. But, convention horror stories are hilarious. So, this one does not involve like a creeper or anything like that. It literally involves me being in a Kyrie costume. My boyfriend dressed in an Anakin Skywalker costume with just a purple lightsaber just being a Jedi. And um, I'm wearing this jacket. So I'm like, this is a very flashy jacket, okay? And we're trying... <sighs> we're trying to locate my mother to get in the car. Now, the backstory to this is his best friend was not able to get us from the convention at 11-something, you know? So we talked to my, we just kind of played it off like his car broke down, but he was having like legit car problems, which is why he couldn't come get us. So the day of, after we get there, I'm like, hey mom, our car, our friend's car broke down. He can no longer come pick us up at the convention. So she has never driven to Indianapolis, like this deep into Indianapolis. But my grandpa has now drove up in there twice now. So my grandpa's familiar with it. So... And she said she's going to pick, get my grandpa at about 7 and be on her way by 7.30 to come get us. I had the complicated directions, which took you straight to the convention. But you had to go down I-69 and get on all these other, like, all, like on these all of these exits, okay? That's the word. Exits. Talking interstate-wise. And, well... She had the really simple directions. I kind of just took you to the location around where the convention is. So this is where things get a little fucked up. So at, I have to say about 9, 9.15, my boyfriend and I get a call. My mom's like, oh, we're, we're near the convention center. You guys can come out. Like, we're trying to find you guys. Like, where are you? In the convention center. By this, I was like, by Capitol Avenue. Yeah, because that's the road. I was like, Capitol Avenue. You know, like the big main road. You know, like, mm, 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 mm. And I was thinking, she had the same directions as me. But she did not. Her and my grandpa went the easy route that took you around the interstate into the convention area. Well... <laughs> It's dark. A lot of people are dressed in costumes. It is freezing, mind you. And I'm wearing tights and then like shorts, underwear looking things, and then like the skirt piece over that. So all my leg is out. My boyfriend's walking around in his Jedi costume. Your mom, get out of here. Uh -huh. My grandma just yelled at her dog. Please ignore that. But um my boyfriend's just walking around with like out his Anakin Skywalker thing on because it got in the way of us trying to locate my pay. Like, he had taken it off because it was getting in the way. So I get on the phone and he, you know, is refusing to put my jacket on as we're going outside because I didn't have this, just this jacket. I had my Pikachu jacket with me too. So we get outside and we're trying to like find the big red letters of the Lucas Oil Stadium because that's right across the street from the fucking convention. But it's like behind the across the street and we weren't able to locate the letters because neither of us had fully seen the sign and it's dark now so we can't even remember where we had seen it. So we had walked down the block to try and like look up at the top of these buildings that are around us and my mom is at the front of the Lucas Oil Stadium, okay, with my grandpa driving laps around the Lucas Oil Stadium. <clears throat> And Blaine and I are on the phone with my mom. She's like, what do you see? And I'm like, this Enterprise State area, this place. And then I look to my right as these, like, I'm going to stay their race. But 30 black kids had, like, joined on one side of the street. So here's the street. Across the street at the little corner, my boyfriend and I are standing in costumes, mind you. In costumes in front of these people. And they're, like, giving us weird looks because it's, like, I have a fire red wig. And then, like, this hoodie on. And, like, no pants on. And you can't tell if I have anything on. You know? So, like, ugh. So we're standing. And I'm trying to tell my mom as my phone's breaking connection because I'm using my tiny little Obama phone. 
to try and talk to her because my phone's not active so I used the phone we have issued by the government to talk to her and it was losing its signal and breaking up <laughs> dude this is such a bad point it's like ah, 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 where is my mother at <clears throat> you know and like she's like I'm like repeating everything to her and I'm like oh hey the mall's right down this road in front of me but I can't see the street sign and then I'm like wait this is like part of Pennsylvania or whatever okay at this time police had started circling the convention center I kid you the fuck not police were circling the convention center blocking off roads because these 30 fucking stupid ass little bitchy kids decided to start fighting each other Okay? And there was already a big scandal at the mall, literally a block from the fucking convention. So they already had everything blocked off. So my mother could not get to the convention to get me. Okay? And I have severe anxiety. So I'm like in the middle of the road now because they have blocked things off. And I'm he he seeing all these people like start fighting. And I hear like tasers go off and pellet guns and everything. And I'm just like... And then they had paint guns and then... And then, like, one of them had to go and shoot the ground with, like, a real gun or whatever. And it was, like, that special gun that they shoot at the ground to, like, make smoke come up and everything. It was so... For, it caused me to almost collapse in the middle of an intersection. Okay? In Indianapolis? It may be by the convention center, but that's still a busy area. And then... This family comes out of the convention center and they're trying to get into their car. They have a little like three year old kid. They have a girl who looks about 12 and then they have like this child who's like, I think seven or eight. Okay. Who's a little boy. And this other dude drunk as fucking hell comes and starts yelling at the father of these children, starting a big scandal. And then police are starting to try and arrest him because of a domestic disturbance. Okay, the, the dude who was drunk and yelling at the father ended up smacking, like, the two, three-year-old child. Like, by, not intentionally, but, like, smacked the child. So this caused for even more fucking police problems, okay? Okay? Like, this is my boyfriend's first convention. This is my third convention. I do not have the skills to withstand this, okay? So... We start walking the opposite direction because my mom's like, we are on this side of the convention building. And I'm like, oh, she found a way to get through. She found a way to get to the convention building. I was very, very happy. So we start, we like are like hightailing it. We are hightailing it to this area that we think my mom is at. And then we find the Lucas Oil Stadium. And we're like, hey, we're in front of the Lucas Oil Stadium. And by now, my mom has now sent my grandpa out of the car in front of Lucas Oil Stadium and drove somewhere else. And then she's driving around the convention center, but not the front of the, the convention center that's, like, where we're at. So, we find my grandpa. We're standing with my grandpa. I, at this point, take my Pikachu hoodie out of my backpack and I throw it at my boyfriend because he's like shivering and refusing to put it on and we've already been outside for about 45 minutes so yeah we got to my grandpa at about 10 we found my grandpa at about 10 10 15 okay he puts the jacket on and my mom's like okay well you need to find this like it's um it was this uh like security company with like this big gold um horseshoe Colts horseshoe because it was like the security building the Lucas Oil Stadium used you know so mom's like you need to come find that and my first direction decision was the correct fucking way okay keep that in fucking mind as I continue this story if I would have ignored my mother we would have been at her car in like 15 minutes okay I'm like okay my back was to the stadium okay I mean not my back my back was to the convention building and I told her I was going to be going right. She thought I said that my back was to the stadium and I was going right the opposite direction. So she told me I needed to go the other way. So we start walking and we walk that corner. We don't see her like we're supposed to. We don't even see the streets we're supposed to see. So we walk down the other side. 
And then we ask these people we find sitting outside who, like, work with the Lucas Oil Stadium if they know where this fucking place is. And they're like, oh, you're wanting to go this way. So we walk the other fucking direction. Back the way we came, past this certain little area. And then we end up back at the front of the building. And my mom now is, like, yelling at me because she's getting frustrated. And it's 11 o'clock. And we are not in the car. So, um, we walk down this one area that my grandpa stated, which is the direction I originally wanted to take, okay? The direction I originally wanted to fucking take. And we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking. And we find my mother's car. We are not in her car until 11.30 at fucking night. Okay? We're all cold. We're all tired. I am nauseated. I feel like I'm going to vomit everywhere. And we get in the car. And it is warm. And I am happy. And I, like, am like, hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. When we get, like, back to town, can we stop at a gas station? I need some Dr. Pepper. And she's like, when we get off the interstate. And I was like, I was asking when we got back into town. So... That was all our craziness. Now the part we really laugh at <laughs> is when we get to the gas station, I'm still in full fucking costume. <sighs> and I walk in and the lady's like, why would you let your daughter leave in that? And she's like, I didn't see my daughter this morning. I didn't even know what she was leaving in. Despite, I'm going to tell you right now that this is my thigh, okay? My shorts. This is how much of my thigh showed. None of my vagina. None of my butt. But this lady was like, you should not have left your daughter leave with that. Anywho, she went to cash us out. And I had a taquito for me. I had a taquito for my boyfriend. I had two bottles of soda. So that we would have actual, like, more food in our system. Because we ate lunch at, like, noon. So. I walk up to the cash register. I go to hand her $5.40, and she says, if you were my daughter, I would not let you out of that house because I can see your ass. <gasps> Bitch, where can you see my ass? My ass is not hanging out of this. My butt is completely covered. My vagina is covered. The only thing you see is part of my thigh, okay? I feel bad for your stepdaughter because now she's talking to us about her stepdaughter and how her stepdaughter will leave in one thing and come home in another thing. But I wonder why. And it's not even bad things. It's like t-shirts and shorts or like a sweater and leggings that her da her stepdaughter will come home in. And she thinks it's completely and utterly like slutty and like Ill, Ill modest. And I'm like, you're not even dressing modest. Where's your room to talk? But you know, I'm just happy to be getting in the car with a bottle of Dr. Pepper and getting cuddles from my boyfriend as I'm eating this like taquito thing that has cheese and like bacon in it but there's no bacon in it and they didn't have a chicken one that sounded good so I was like really really salty so I'm like babe I can't eat the rest of this do you want it I was like hey do you want to try this and then it's like I can't eat the rest of it just eat it Blaine he's like you need to eat food I'm like I can't eat that I will get sick all over my mother's car and he's like okay I'm just gonna eat this <laughs> And then the last bite he took, he had he saw this big hunk of bacon in the bottom of it. So we both were salty because I ate this, like, cheese wrapped in, like, a little, like, fried fajita. And then we all get dropped off at my dad's house, which is this house. Well, my grandpa's house because my dad and I just, like, you know, live here and stay here. I stay here. My dad lives here. And so I, like, strip out of my costume. At this point, I have, like, ditched my bra. I have put... Different, well, I had to put my con my cosplay shoes back on because my other shoes were in the suitcase and I didn't feel like digging them out because I just wanted to get my boyfriend home so I could come home, wash my face, and go to sleep. It's literally how that went. So I, like, rush into putting on other clothes and then I sit in the back of the seat, in, like, in the back seat of the car and we drop Blaine off and his dad's like, I thought you said you were going to be home about 11. Blaine wasn't home until about 1.30. Yeah, because we weren't back in town until um, about one. So it was, it was very funny to all of us because we're like, we just did all of that for a fucking convention. And my mom and I laugh about it to this day. Will I still keep going to conventions? Yes, I'm very happy to. But you know, guys, I love you.